In this short video, we'll show you how to leverage Kerberos key tabs to automate the process of joining and removing Unix Linux systems to Active Directory using Centrify. Since this is a security video, we'll attempt to maintain the least access, least privilege, and separation of duties principles. And this is important because due to the elasticity of data centers, now with uh, private and public clouds, IT infrastructure has to be more automated. But this has to be done securely. The good thing is that Active Directory provides a Kerberos environment and Centrify provides the tools required to do this automation. Today we're going to be doing this from my App One server and uh, um, I've already have SSH sessions to a Centrified system, which is CentOS 1. Um, and I also have a system that I want to join, which is my, my Hadoop 1 system. So first, uh, we need what we need to do is set up the Active Directory account. So uh, because this is going to be a service account, we need just to basically to set up a new service account. So I'm going to go walk through quickly to the wizard. Uh, there shouldn't be uh, any new, new stuff. So... Um, I'm going to call mine AD Joiner. So in here, when I actually set up the password, I'm going to set it for non-expiration. Um, you know, I, at this point, know which is the password for this account. This is typically bad. You don't want service accounts to have a well-known password. And you'll see that, that how we can overcome that. But first, uh, my OU container for Unix servers is this um, uh, servers containers under Unix. So what I need to do is first uh, delegate access to that account so it can join uh, accounts into AD. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do delegate control. And quickly through the wizard, find my AD joiner account. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, create custom tasks for computer objects. I'm going to um, allow creation and deletion because I want this account to be able to automate leads from the domain. And just to simplify stuff, I'm just going to give a full control over here. So I've uh, um, delegated uh, the ability to join computers into this container. However, I'm running in zone mode. And if I'm going to do that, I need to also to be able to delegate at the zone level. This allows me to enforce not only the least access or least privilege, but also um, the separation of duties uh, principle. So again, I'm gonna. That's one of the cool things about Centrify is that you know, in terms of governance, it can separate uh, functions that can be done. In this case, this account should only be able to join computers to the zone, remove computers from the zone, and modify computer profiles. So um, I've done everything I need to do in the AD side. However. I need a, uh, like you saw in the post, I need a, a key tab because the key tab is going, what's going to allow me to do, uh, you know, the ability to do the, the join without typing in a password. But I need to adopt the key tab um, and basically uh, randomize the password. So that's why Centrify offers the AD key tab uh, utility. And it has a lot of options, but uh, let's go ahead and we're going to do uh, the adopt option. So we're going to adopt an existing account. So we're going to do AD key tab minus minus adopt. We're going to use uh, a user, in this case, Jerry Seinfeld. He's my um, AD administrator who can actually modify accounts. Uh, I'm going to specify a key tab file, and this is going to be AD joiner. key tab and um, I want to do this uh, in verbose mode and finally the the end of the account that I want to modify is AD joiner so what AD key tab does it does create the file the local file but it also randomizes the password so at this point I don't know the password anymore once this is successful So there you go. The, the key tab was created, and if I look at the um, at the listing here, you will see that I have this AD joiner key tab file. You want to make sure that the key tabs are typically uh, read only, and you want to pr protect them with a privileged account like root. Now I have my key tab file. Uh, 
for me to be able to join automatically a system, I actually have in my um, in my on join system, I have a, a, a script that I wrote uh, is, is auto join. It's very simple. And uh, all it does, it obtains a key tab and then uh, performs the AD join command. The key here being that the the AD join command is Kerberized, so it doesn't require a password. So that you know, some sort of derived code like this is what you would uh, put into your enterprise build, so it automatically joins the system. So what you need to have is a the center five bits loaded in the machine, and it doesn't have to be joined. So if I do AD info, um, it's not joined to any domain, right? Uh, but I the bits are already loaded. We need to also make sure that the um, krb5.com file um, has some information that we can use for this domain. So in this case, what I can do is just basically copy um, a file from a working system to this machine. So I could do something like, uh, let's see, and this would be something that will be automated as well. So let me see if I have this on my history. Uh, it would be. Uh, let me have something like that. Okay, so it is right here. So this will copy. Um, actually, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do this one. So let's copy it from send one. So CP. So all I'm going to do is copy a krb5.com file from a working system to a non-joint system. So uh, this would be all right. This is copied, and at this point, all I need to do is um, you know obtain a, obtain a um, uh, TGT, a Kerberos ticket using that key tab, but I also need to copy the key tab, which I ha haven't copied over. So this is really important. Copying over the files, right, in a secure manner, um, is really a, a key thing here. And uh, if you're doing this automated, you may want to copy the file and basically delete it after what you're done with it. So, um, so I'm coming in the ad joiner key tab file. And uh, there you go. I have the key tab right here. And all I need to do is uh, basically obtain a Kerberos ticket. So I could use the user share center five DC Kerberos bin and k in it AD joiner. Minus KT means a local file and that will be adjoiner.keytab. So now I have a TGT. If, if I wanna verify that I have a TGT, it's very simple. I, it, all I need to do is uh, do a K list. The reason why I specify that big path is that that's where the Centrify uh, enhanced Kerberos tools are. So, um, and you wanna make sure you're using those. Now I can just, uh, you know, join the, join the domain, very simple. So I do an AD join, and it will be Z, my model, so on. And the container is, the container that we granted access to that, so it will be OU equals servers, OU equals Unix. And I like to do this verbose, and I'm gonna do contoso.com. And if everything is okay, I didn't have to specify the minus U option and uh, my computer is joined. If I look at my systems here, the computer has been completely joined. No problem. The, on the flip side, if I want to remove this computer from the domain, it will be an AD leave. My, I don't have to put the U um, option on it. And uh, there you go. I specify minus remove, remove the object from AD. And that's it. Uh, left the domain if I refresh here computer is gone. So there you go. Automated um, joins and leaves, leveraging uh, AD key tabs and maintaining security principles. Um, I hope this helps.